What is going on YouTube? This is Adam and I'm back for another video. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is just creating a whole music video using AI. And the website that we're gonna be using is gonna be one of my favorite AI websites. That's so gonna be Runaway. In here, they have a bunch of different features using AI or you can use to create new types of effects, videos, audio. You can even remove a background or rotoscope your footage in this as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture, dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and like the video if you wanna see more videos like this and leave a comment down below for videos you wanna see and more AI stuff you want to see. Also, if you guys are interested, I do have a website where I sell editing and preset packs for you guys to edit your videos and create dope, amazing effects and transitions and add those to your videos. And also, if you want to double your editing speed and streamline your workflow, you can also get those presets as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So as you can see, what we're using is T Grizzly and J. Cole's new music video, Blow for Blow. And we're going to be going ahead and creating a music video out of that using AI. So what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and right click this. We'll go ahead ahead and scroll down until we find scene and edit detection. We're just going to go ahead and press apply a cut at each detected cut point. Press analyze. It's going to cut the footage where every clip changes if that makes sense. Perfect. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using the generative AI or the video to video AI to create some sweet effects. So now that it's done cutting our footage, let's go ahead and just chop a few pieces that we want to make our music video out of. All right, so I just finished getting the clips that I wanted to use. It's going to be really quick, going to be about 15 seconds. And also I didn't have the music in there because I don't want to get copyrighted. And then I'm going to go ahead and mash these up so they're not in the same order that the music video is in just to make it look a little bit more cinematic. Here's what we're working with now. And let's go ahead and drag this onto our first layer. And let's go ahead and pick out the scenes that we actually want to do some AI to. So let me take a look here. So that one's not bad. So I know I want to do this one right here. Let's pick out about three scenes. So let's actually do this one. This one's longer and then we'll do this one. This one will be real cool. All right. So I picked out our three scenes that we're going to go ahead and do. So next thing we want to do, if you want to add this video to video generative AI effect to it, you want to go ahead and render out our clips that we want to apply the AI on them. So I'll go ahead and press X to mark the clip. Then we're just going to render these clips out. We don't need any audio and we'll just save them to our desktop. So I'll just save this as one. Perfect. Save the next one as two. Lastly, we save the next one as three. Read. Beautiful. Awesome. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and go to video to video gen one, changing the style of the video with text or images. So let's go ahead and click that on runway.ml. And if you guys haven't used runway.ml, what they do require you to do is create an account and also using these AI effects cost credits. So I honestly accumulated 295 credits and that's just for having my account for so long. So I would suggest creating multiple accounts, having them generate tokens, cause I'm sure you generate tokens every few days or every day. So if you have multiple accounts generating coins, you'll just be able to stack a bunch of coins and be able to use them whenever you want. So, so here we have our generative AI and all you wanna do is just go ahead and drag your clip. So let's go ahead and locate mine. Mine's on the desktop. So let's go ahead and drag one to the desktop. And as you can see, it's going to upload. And if you go ahead and look over here to the right you can use the style reference presets or text prompts so for our effects i actually want to use two images and then i'm actually going to use one text prompt to create our effects for the music video so i already pre-selected some images that i want to use for the video so what they're going to be is cyberpunk picture right here and then also this grim reaper picture right here so let's go ahead and drag on image right here so let's go ahead and press upload locate our image so let's go ahead and use cyberpunk right here and now it's uploading you go ahead and select your style string and then you want to go ahead and click on it and then all you do is just press free previews to see what it's going to look like to see a little style preview of it and then you select the best image out of the four that they created for you and then you can kind of create your video from there so if you guys take a look you can see a bunch of these dope clips right here these are actually super sick let's go ahead and go with the laser eyes so that one looks real sick so as we wait for it to upload, it says it's going to take a few minutes. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm also coming out with a bunch of new dope stuff. I'm coming out with the Premiere Pro extension that you guys are going to like. More preset packs for you guys to speed up your workflow as well. But this extension that I'm working on is really going to change the game, helping you really speed up your productivity and your creativity to the max and really edit your videos faster. So I know you guys are going to love this. I'm going to release in the next month or so. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've created. So as you can see, here is the generative video one not what i was expecting but still looks good enough so cool so let's go ahead and download this so what we'll do is we'll click download right here and then what it does is just downloads it here so let's go ahead and go back to our footage and this was for one so it went to our downloads so let's go ahead and click download and as you can see the video is right here so i'll go ahead and just drag this on top of our 
footage right here. All right, so I got it matched up. It actually started out being a little bit longer than normal, but all I did was just speed up the clip to where it matched our footage. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with. So that's what it looks like right there. Not bad, but we can obviously make it look better. Let's go ahead and finish creating the AI filters for each of these and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my generative AI footage completely done. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with right now. So as you can see, that's it right there. Added a nice Grim Reaper soul flame effect to that one. This one adds a little futuristic look to it as well. Real cool. So what I wanna do now with these is pretty much gonna add a flicker. So it makes it like flicker right into the footage because obviously we wanna use this footage right here where it's actually the, you know, the artist. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna go ahead and add some flicker effects and then I'm gonna flicker back out of it. So I'll start here, I'll go ahead and make a few cuts. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete every other piece of footage. And let's go ahead and take a look at what I did. And then we can kind of make it flicker out again, back in the middle. So let's go ahead and delete every other piece. And we'll go ahead and have it flicker back out to T Grizzly and J Cole. And then it kind of flickers right back into them again, just like that, right back to the AI. And then we'll have it flicker out and finish. And we'll have it just like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our flicker effect. That looks really good. Let's go ahead and continue on with the rest of the music video. Let's go ahead and start in the beginning. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and have this just halfway through. Delete this right here. So it looks like that. So it actually looks kind of smooth right there. And so here, let's just add a nest because I can add any sort of transition here. Let's make that a 20 frame transition. Right click, nest, and then we can go ahead and locate any one of our pieces of footage. So let's go ahead and use some in our ultimate camera shake effects. Basic flash to the right. I think that'll look real good. So I actually like the bump. That bump looks real good. Wow. And let's do the same thing here. Add a nested sequence right there. Make that 20 frames. Nest this. I'm trying to be quick. Nest this. After I make it a 20 frame transition, 10 frames each. We'll go ahead and use the chroma. So it's kind of subtle. I actually really like that. Let's do bump flash again though. So actually that looks real good. So let's go ahead and check out the music video so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the music video and then I'll be right back so you guys can see the finished product. But as you guys can see, what I'm doing is pretty much just combining the AI footage with some of the presets that I have here in my effects panel that I've created. And we'll go ahead and make some of the super dope. So I'll go ahead and see you guys when I finish. All right, so I went ahead and finished the music video. Super simple. The edit style of the blow for blow music video seemed more of like a running gun type video. So I just made simple effects. So just like hits, flashes, flickers, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the effects that I went ahead and put on it. The way it's presented is more of like a running gun type feel. So the only effects that I really put on it were hits, shakes, flashes, and flickers. Here we go, we just did a quick shake right here, add another shake, trade it to the AI, which makes it look cool. Then we shake right out of the AI, back to reality, go back into a flash right here. Then it goes into another flash right here. This is a built-in flash here. You can see T Grizzly shaking the money, tears it to an AI demon holding money, shakes right back into reality. And then we have this rotating flicker AI effect. So looks real cool, kind of like a futuristic look and that's kind of just changes back into T Grizzly. So really quick video on how I used AI to pretty much transform my music video into something really creative and that you can add to your next video as well. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like down below and comment down what you want to see next. And also guys, if you want to speed up your workflow and add some double effects to your next music video or any of your other videos, I have a website where I create music video presets along with other presets that you could add to streamline your workflow and edit two times faster and add more creativity to your editing process. So appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like the video down below. Tell me what you want to see next. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check my website and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.